Ronaldinho away and Socrates rather too slow and caught in possession. Karashevich towards Smolarek off the post. Smolarek again. Oh, what an astonishing let off then for Brazil. Ron Atkinson, your first words will be to describe uh, a very near miss then for Poland. Yeah. Chikonovsky again with Urban. Away from Adinho. Wojcicki. Smolarek was in the middle and Chikonovsky. Smolarek. Now Boniek. Shot from Karas. Off the ball. Tremendous shot then by Karas. Junior to Josimar. Here's Muller. He's really been in the game too. Any great effect yet? Perhaps he will be now. Still Muller. Tremendous pace at the corner. And there we saw the first real burst of speed from Muller. Yeah, he's exciting. He receives it easy, doesn't he? Takes it very, very well. Good goalkeeping. The yard later, and I think the fellow might have just nicked him for a goal then. He's named after the famous Gert Muller of the West German side. His parents named him after Muller. As Rob was saying earlier on, he's rather like a richer in style. Junior with the corner. Socrates, lovely little flick back in to Greco. And that was more like the flamboyant style that we've seen of the Brazilians earlier in the competition. Then for Muller. Away from Karash is Junior. Chance for Kareka. Penalty surely. Kareka goes down. Volkerot says penalty. I don't think Ron, you could really argue with that. No, the setting up play was brilliant. He, the defenders made a mistake. He's tackling him from the outside, which is inevitably if you can make contact with the, the forward. Uh, forward running at the box is going to lead to a penalty but that was a super move started all by the big centre half brings com combination with Muller and then the rest of them all put the little passes in that's Brazil at its best little one-twos little close passing on the edge of your box it certainly exposed the Polish defence at the speed off the mark of Kareka has earned his team a penalty which Socrates it would appear is going to take for them a winner check trying to compose himself off the goal line. The referee just making sure one or two of the Polish players aren't inside that penalty area. Socrates. Easily done. Almost arrogantly done. They virtually stood there and chipped it in there, didn't he? Hardly a run-up, unusual penalty really, hardly to the run-up, and it, it looked it looked a little bit odds on that he would have to stick it in that corner, though, for the, by the way he's run-up was. There's a caution being given by Volker Rote, I can't see to which player, he's just waving it. He has been very influential indeed in this Brazilian side. Urban, less than five minutes set to half-time. Brazil leading by a goal to nil, and the, Coles, the uh, Poles coming back strongly. A shot then from Kalashevic. On a high note. Beating Brazil here will do for starters. Boniek to Karash. Well, earlier on, the shot rebounded off the bar, but he didn't really get hold of that one. But I wonder if you feel, Ron, that the Poles have it in the bout to bounce back here against Brazil. This is indeed Adinho. He drove it straight into that barricade. Josimar. Still Josimar, it's oh, an astonishing goal. Well, what a fight this man is proving. A spectacular goal against Northern Ireland. And now, in many ways, an even better one against Poland. Yeah, that's, that's a brilliant one. Just before he took it, you know, I was looking at him in his style, he's running so he's ever, he's ever so much like the Luma Jama Santos used to play for the Brazilians. He's got the same hunchback running style. And he's, he's, he is virtually, when he comes forward, an extra winger. Tanishevich again will take the free kick. Curling it. And only just wide. 
Good little free kick that was close, wasn't it? He's tried it once before and he got charged down by the wall. Keeper knew nothing about that actually. Julio Cesar to Elzo. What an important player he is for Brazil. Full of running, full of hard work. Junior. Oh, this is a good run by Junior. Kareka. Good save then. By Mawinacek. Who was in exactly the right place. And Ash. Majewski's come forward. Jekanowski. Bonnier. Well, we've criticised it today on occasions. But my word, he was unlucky then, Ron. I must confess, when he hit it, Peter, I thought he'd scored. Really did. I mean, it's, that's what great players are, really, aren't they? They can have a nightmare and bring something out the blue. He hasn't provided the service the Brazilian strikers would have hoped for. Medinho's clearance could set something up now then for Kareka. Kareka. It's got Adinho outside him. Here's Adinho. Surely, superbly finished. Adinho, who started the move with his clearance from his own half, finished it in style. Well, no wonder the Brazilians are celebrating. Adinho did so well. But that's what we were saying about them having the time and the space to hit them on the break. Actually, when the ball was first knocked up to, to, to Caraca, Wojcicki must have been stood 25 yards up and giving him all the time and space in the world to turn and just attack the middle of the defence. Rook just looks disdainfully towards it and says no way. Correct that through for Zico. Now, oh, penalty, surely. It has to be a penalty. Zico brought that. And that would have been four otherwise, no doubt. Yeah, no danger of penalty. I mean, but once again, you've got to, you've got to put the finger on Wojcicki, the number five. He's lost complete interest in the game. Marking has become something he doesn't believe in anymore. And Karek is having all the time in the world to get the ball at out in wide positions and start little setting up plays. It was actually a lovely turn by Zico. Had he not been brought down, it certainly would have been goal number four. And there's some uh, dispute among the Brazilian players as to who is going to take this penalty. I don't think they've sorted it out yet. Kareka, who's gone forward. Zico's in there as well, Peter. And Zico, perhaps they're both going to take it on. <laughs> the Brazilians, you never know. Zico has been waved away. Kareka. Oh! Well, it's gone in, but what bad luck for the Poles. Kareka wheeling away in delight. But he was somewhat fortunate there. Well, he was um, the keeper was unlucky, wasn't he? He's gone the length of the he's goal. To it. He's, he's nearly, nearly saved it. It wasn't the worst penalty you've ever seen. And it just shows when you luck's in what happens. With 21. So Zabuda is on. He hasn't uh, made an appearance before at the finals here. Bonnier. Final's getting down well. Great 1970 team. But all the same, Rob, they have conceded a goal and they're scoring plenty. Oh, they're, a, they're an excellent side, aren't they? And that, in fact, is the end of the game. And I wonder, Rob, then how far you feel they can go. Well, they're going to play all their games at home now by the look of it. Um, they've got good all-round ability, they've got resolution at the back, and some of the players that aren't particularly worldwide names at this moment in time will possibly become by the end of the tournament.